Hello, welcome to this week's video. We're looking at OneNote. Well, what is it? Well, it's a collaborative book, in essence. It's a collaborative book. You can add sections, you can add pages, you can insert a whole range of different types of content, and then you can share it with people so they can either view it or they can contribute to it. So you access it via the nine boxes, and it opens on this page here. You've got Recent, which is like a list of activity related to all of the books you have access to. You've got My Notebook, which are books that you've created yourself. You've got Shared With Me, they're books that others have created. And you've got Class Notebook, which we'll come to in a different video. So let's jump in. So I've gone into my James at School. And in essence, what you've got here is you've got an example of the types of content you can add. So you can see this one's embedded a video. You've got a bulleted list. You've got notes added comments added as well so in essence what you've got is you've got sections and you've got pages so in a Google Doc for example you contribute you collaborate on a document with multiple pages with this it's more of a book in that you've got your sections and then your pages within your sections so it makes it much easier and the variety of content you can put in is much broader than you can insert into a, into a Google Doc. It sort of brings together, for those of you who are familiar with Google Apps, it brings together the functionality of both Google Slides and Google Docs. So but anyway, back on to OneNote. So we're using the online version. There is a, a native app that can be installed on your device as well. So we're gonna focus on how to use the browser-based app. So we go up to File. And we've got the ability to share it there. We can also print it if we need to. We can also open it and edit it in the native copy. We can also at the top, we can do share. And just like you do with your Office 365 documents, you can share it uh, in, a, in a number of different ways. You can see anyone who has the link can edit or people in Activate Learning or just specific people. You can then add their email and an expiration date for how long they've got access to the right to edit. So I'm gonna close that up. So if we come to the insert menu, we've got either to add a page or to a section. So we click on add a section. We can put in and click okay. And we can see we've got a new section added there and we right click on that, we can add a new page, but we can also change the color of the tab. So you can see our colored tabs there. As soon as you open a new section, it, it creates a blank page for you within that section. And if you go to the insert menu, you can also insert additional pages. Insert allows you to do a number of different things. So we can insert a table, we can insert a picture, insert an online picture, and we can add an attachment. We've got various add-ons within Office we can use. We can insert a link. We can record an audio comment. So I can see that being really useful if you're using your class notebook function with your students. You could have a workbook for each student or you could have a workbook for your class and a page for each student, um, and you could provide them with maybe some audio feedback. You can insert a symbol, you can insert a form, there's some educational resources, and there's some stickers. So just have a quick look at educational resources. Just take a moment to load up. So as you can see, not all um, uh, education providers choose to have that function so it's not been enabled within my institution but if your institution has enabled it that's where it would appear there we go back to the insert one we can do a picture and we can upload one from our computer if we go to online picture we can search for images through Bing and add those And the rest of it is all relatively straightforward. So if we go to draw now, and you've got the ability to either type 
but you can also, if we go back to draw, we can choose the type of drawing device, whether that be a highlighter for highlighting text or whether it be a pen, and you can start to draw. And if you have a stylus, then obviously you can make it much more effective than that. It's very easy, you can click the eraser and you can rub out. And it rubs out the section. So if you do your drawing in sections, so let's draw a very simple car. If I make a mistake, it's gonna rub out that whole section. I'll now do the wheels. But you get the idea. I'm not an artist, but you get the idea, there you go. And you can change colors. So it looks like it's been drawn by a five-year-old. And if you want, you can expand the color palette. You can also alter the thickness of your lines. But it could be a great way in get the students to research uh, an image of an object and then use the, the draw function to add, get the students to add the labels to the various items that they've found. So we go to view, you've got a reading view, you've got an immersive reader that will read the text that's there. You can see who has contributed what as far as collaborators. You can check accessibility and you can show sections and pages or show any pages. So you can choose who can see what. And with Class Notebook, there's some added functionality, but as I said, I'll cover that in another video. So there you have it, a really great way to work collaboratively, either with colleagues or students. If you go to your name at school, you'll find that there are lots of how-to guides for using OneNote. As you can see, really useful website with all lots of different information. And then you've got teacher basics, teacher scenarios, lots of ideas on how you can use OneNote with your students. Uh, and you can see, and you just click on the link and it will take you to those resources. So they have a really quick look at OneNote. Uh, I think it's a great collaborative tool, uh, a great way to, to work with either your colleagues or students. I hope you found the video useful. If you did, please remember to share it, subscribe to the channel, and join me again soon for another EdTech video. Thanks for watching.